Efficiency equals what? Um, let's see. Uh, you find it. <laughs> oh, okay, so efficiency is always going to equal the work out. You could put work in. Yesterday, I think we said heat in, whatever. It's like the input of energy. Output over input. Um, so here, we know efficiency is this. What is the work output? Yeah, it's how much work you did. What work was done here? Yeah, you raised that thing. So we know that the work output was 3,600 joules of energy. Mm -hmm. Yes, does that make sense? So that's work. And we know efficiency. So what we can do here is we can say, instead of work input, which isn't wrong, so UTN's not wrong, um, but I'm going to say this is like heat Okay, and then what I could do if I wanted to is I could say QH is equal to W plus QC, right? And then so from this, I can say efficiency equals work over work plus QC. And now I can say work plus QC equals work over efficiency. QC is equal to work over efficiency minus the work. So we take the work, 3,600, divided by 3 fourths, which makes 4 thirds. And then that's going to make 4,800 minus 3,600, and we should get 1,200 joules. Double check my math, though, because that's... All right, so now what they're telling us is that it's the same amount of work, same efficiency, but QC is going to equal QC is going to equal QW plus uh, Q of the iron. Do you get what I'm saying here? Because it's the same pulley, and now you do it fast. So if you do it fast, then what happens is the heat goes into the, the pulley. So it's the same heat lost, but now it's going to be this. So QW is going to be equal to QC minus MC delta T. Wow, I don't know why I made that C little midget thing like that. And that's going to be mass of the iron, specific heat capacity of iron times the delta T of iron. Okay, 450 joules. So we got 1200 joules minus 2 times 450 um, times 0.25. So then that becomes half of that, which is 225. Subtracted from that, you get like what, 975 or something like that? But again, double check my math.